In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Today we remember Lynn um, Pogoka. Okay, today at this Mass, and we celebrate the feast of St. Augustine Zhao Rong, uh, part of the Chinese martyrs. So the Chinese martyrs, there's a, quite a number of them. Uh, from the period from the 1600s up to even to the 1900s, getting closer and closer to our own time. But for the persecuted church in China, we see some of these great uh, courageous models and defenders of the faith, and so we honor them this day. Uh, we have some additional people, some family, and even some guests who had traveled um, to be with us, so as, as in connection with all of the festivities for the 25th anniversary. So anyway, many, many things to be excited about. And we look forward to the parish uh, the celebrations and the receptions this weekend uh, as we have um, an opportunity to celebrate after each of the Masses uh, this, uh, this weekend. Let us begin by calling to mind our sins as we ask our Heavenly Father for mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to us in word and in sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory and bring salvation to your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the martyrs, St. Augustine, Zhao, and companions, grant that your people, faithful to the mission entrusted to it, may enjoy ever greater freedom and witness to the truth before the world through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were present, stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces. With two they veiled their feet. With two they hovered aloft. They cried to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am due, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed, robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for a length of days. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, nor slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebel, how much more for those of this household? Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. For I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. Whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's first reading opens with the call of Isaiah, and Isaiah is called to be a prophet. And he hesitates to take on this responsibility. He recognizes his own unworthiness. And I know that, um, especially in connection with the uh, observance of my 25th anniversary and always wanting to pray for vocations, um, perhaps we could say the same thing about those who might be called to the priesthood. I think one would understand if there's maybe some hesitancy. Um, like St. Peter. Remember when St. Peter was called, he said, Leave me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Just as Isaiah said, he is a man of unclean lips. And so... Um, there is always a recognition of unworthiness, um, and yet at the same time, it's the Lord who overcomes that, the Lord who can purify the lips of Isaiah to make him worthy, uh, to be a prophet, to announce the word of the Lord, or to cleanse the heart or to absolve from sin. And maybe in a certain sense, this is actually a helpful thing for the prophet Isaiah or for someone called to be a priest, because then um, it's not as though a person stands above never having sinned, um, in such a way that they may not be able to be effective in relating to the people that they will, will minister to or preach to um, or take care of. But perhaps there's a, a blessing in recognizing the common state of sin, but then having known that mercy and forgiveness. And I think that maybe is a very important thing. And perhaps young man shouldn't hesitate. So, yes, unworthy, true. But at the same time, knowing the Lord's mercy, it's the Lord that we depend on. And at the same time, we have the capacity to relate to the weakness of others. And so maybe there's something very important there. Um, it makes the relationship with our Lord really all the more impressive because we know that Jesus is like us in all things but sin. So he never experienced sin in the way that we have needing to be forgiven. Jesus never was that way. And yet at the same time, he is intimately close to us, such as the power of God's divine love. Um, that even though he doesn't share that characteristic like Isaiah does or like Peter does or like any of us or any priest who ministers um, At the same time that love of the Lord is profoundly experienced in our Lord Jesus Christ who is so intimately close to us So intimately close that initially the response that should be fear and trembling Isaiah beholds the angels and the, and the Lord God on his heavenly throne and he trembles This is a cause of great fear and trembling um, and yet, even in the midst of this, uh, we see that um, Isaiah is able to overcome that fear and by God's grace, um, accept this call. So also, we have a privilege of being able to sing with the angels, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. We hear that quoted from Isaiah chapter 6, and we'll say that in just a few minutes at the, as we prepare for the Eucharistic prayer. Words that should cause us a certain fear and trembling if it wasn't for the fact that we know that the Lord's love for us, in fact, invites us to join with the angels. And here, being purified just in the lips to be able to speak God's word, what about the fear and trembling we should have in coming before the Lord to receive God himself present in the Eucharist? It would cause us great fear and trembling if it wasn't for the fact that we know of the Lord's great love for us that gives us the courage to approach him, unworthy though any of us are. Um, and yet we're thankful for the Lord's mercy and his gift to us. So profound gifts, just things that we should all be thankful for. Um, and uh, something that 
by which we are reassured because of the Lord's tremendous and abiding love. So let us hold fast to that. That gives us, that strengthens our faith, that gives us courage, it strengthens us in hope as we seek to do our best to give back to the Lord as he has been so generous to us. If any of you watch these videos, now you know the secret. So this <laughs> figure how does that camera move well now you know now you've seen it so and let us stand as we present our prayers and petitions we pray for the holy catholic church and the holy people of god that we might be strengthened in our faith and trust in god's loving and divine providence toward us we pray to the lord, lord for the church in china through the intercession of saint augustine Zhao rong and his companions uh, that the church in china might grow and prosper in peace we pray to the lord Lord, for peace throughout the world and especially in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, for holy vocations, and for the strengthening of those who have been called to serve as priests, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all the faithful departed, remembering the deceased members of the Pavelka family for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord and let us pray for the protection of our religious liberties. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, hear and answer these prayers that we make in faith. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, 
so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Augustine, Zhao, and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I guess my nephew was deciding that I was going too long. So, so, so that's the, but that's okay. So, that's it. Uh, let us honor the mother of God, especially on this Saturday, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.